I personally do not believe that the liver king is going to be able to go natural. I think he might be able to try. And then he'll soon realize he needs to go on HRT for the rest of his life just to do one workout a day. Coach Greg, in today's video, the liver king has decided to go 100% natural. And that doesn't mean doing HRT. He's literally going to go on nothing. He says, I'm still going to be ripped. I'll probably just lose about 15 pounds of muscle. And so I can't wait to see what the liver king looks like. Is he going to be true to his word? Is he actually going to cycle off or is he just going to lower the doses? And so consider with the years of abuse that the liver king has had, now is the time. If there's ever a time he's going to go off, this is it. But what do I think of that? I think he shouldn't go off. I think he should be on HRT. Should have been HRT from the beginning. Imagine how depressed he's going to be. He's already been depressed, says he had to use steroids, PDs in order to get through those two a day workouts. And imagine how he's going to feel when he cuts out close to $15,000 a month on PDs. And they asked him, do you really spend that much? He's like, yes, I quite literally could have bought a car each and every month on the money I'm spending on PDs. And it's not the testosterone. It's in fact, the growth hormone. It costs well over $10,000. GH is extremely expensive. And he joked around, he says, hey, just come and clean. It's actually saved me a lot of money. Other HRT clinics have reached out and said, you're being overcharged. We can do it for half the money. When was no. the last time you, you had used gear? Saturday. <laughs> Today? <laughs> Today. <laughs> Today. <So> <laughs> Saturday, uh, which is today. And so every Saturday he does his testosterone shot, but he also does growth hormone every single day of the week. And so he has experts in his corner going to guide him on how to go off. It's not going to end well. When you've been on this many PDs, enough to buy a car each and every month, you know how horrible you're going to feel when you go off? And if you're already feeling somewhat depressed and you cycle off, it's not going to be good. And so let that be a lesson. If you're out there contemplating using PDs, do you know how bad it's going to feel when you stop? The majority of bodybuilders, what happens is once they start using it, they can't stop. And if you do in fact abuse it, you're most likely going to need to be on HRT for the rest of your life. And how would I know this? I'm on HRT for the rest of my life. I use PDs myself, abuse them over 10 years. And I have gone off HRT for nine straight weeks. Remember when I broke my elbows, did surgeries? The sports doctor said, I think you should go off HRT. See if we can heal up your elbow. Probably wasn't the smartest move, but I'm like, this is a doctor. I'm going to listen to them. And so I had my testosterone crushed yet again, was losing muscle, had less energy, brain fog, the whole thing. Eventually what happened? Went back on HRT, felt a million times better. And Bart K, that's an exaggeration. It's not quite literally a million times better. Um, I'm working with some people that are really close to me, um, yeah. to experts to come off this. And so he's not gonna go off of this cold turkey. He's going to slowly come off of everything. Personally, I don't believe it. I think he's going to try to come off, but in the end, he's gonna be like, I need to do HRT. You know how many people around me are saying, hey, don't say you're taking steroids. And so imagine if the liver king said, yeah, I'm 100% natural. I'm not doing steroids anymore, but they found out he was on HRT. Testosterone is a steroid. And so if you're on HRT, you're on steroids. Well, a steroid, it's called testosterone. And so, no, I don't think they're going to give the liver king a pass. If he says, I'm natural, but they find out he's on HRT, they're going to say, you lied again. And so liver king, I don't think he's an idiot. And I do think it would be a lot better to just spit out exactly what he's doing. If he's on 100 milligrams a week, say, I'm on 100 milligrams of test to do it every Saturday. 111 milligrams, say 111. Be very specific, explicit, describing exactly what you're doing. Listen, you think I'm going to get a break to say I'm just taking TRT? Yeah, imagine. I'm not taking steroids anymore. I'm just on HRT and doing growth hormone every day. It's prescribed by my doctor. You know, 100% natural not going to get a pass, not in the slightest. You know, I'll lose 15 pounds, but I'll still be ripped. People are still going to say, oh, he's still taking shit. And I'm fine with that too. And so the liver king, he knows he's going to lose muscle. And he says, well, perhaps we can analyze my blood work and see because people are going to still say that I'm not natural. I think if we see him lose 15 pounds of muscle and he doesn't look nearly as good as he does, that people will believe him. However, 
Maybe they won't. People don't believe that I'm only on HRT. I've been off of steroids for over three years. I'm on 140 milligrams of HRT a week, yet people say, no, you can tell he's on growth hormone. His skin is red. Meanwhile, I'll come back from tanning in Mexico. People are clueless. And so just because I have a decent amount of muscle now, more than 99% of the world, people assume, oh, he must be still blasted. Compare the physique I used to have, probably had 20 pounds more muscle. That is the difference between blasting steroids and only using doctor prescribed HRT. And remember, it comes down to your genetics. Before I took anything when I was 100% natural, for example, in my 20s, I still had a physique that was beating most enhanced bodybuilders in bodybuilding competitions. I was a world natural bodybuilding champion. And so if you have great genetics, you train hard, and you put your time in the gym, of course you can build a great physique naturally. I overtrain like fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. And when you overtrain like crazy, you know how badly that fucks up? Your hormones? And so if the liver king goes 100% natural and he's trying to do two-a-day workouts going harder than last time, it's not going to work. He's going to overtrain. And if he actually thinks he can keep this shredded physique off of all steroids, testosterone, growth hormone, while having normal levels of testosterone after abusing it for years, he's in for a rude awakening. Just wait till he gets off everything. He has no idea how bad it's actually going to feel. And so I personally do not believe that the liver king is going to be able to go natural. I think he might be able to try. And then he'll soon realize he needs to go on HRT for the rest of his life just to do one workout a day. When we went to go see the Machi Genga in the Amazon, my kids call them the Machi Gangsters. I was hoping to see somebody and be like, oh, okay, not only do I look like this. And so when the Liver King preached the ancestral ways, get a physique like this, he explored the world, looked for people living like him, and not a single person looked as he did. Most of them very skinny. And so if you just eat liver all the time and animal products and so on, you're most likely going to look skinny, fat, not have a lot of muscle, and look like you're very weak, as this is not the ideal way to live. You think that the ancestors had the best bodies in the world? They were suffering. It was not perfection. What we have today, we now have it made. We have available food sources, supplementation, Harder than last time supplements of which you can get 10% off. Use code Greg. Think of it. Our ancestors never had pre-workouts, creatine, beta alanine, GO2 max. They never had any of these muscle building formulas. And so we have it a lot easier. And so you can't just live the ancestral tenants and think that by eating liver, you're going to have an incredible physique. Click the link in the description, 10% off code Greg. Do you know how many pharmacies and clinics have reached out and said, you're paying double? Do you know how much money I'm already saving? <laughs> I saved you 60000 a year, Dan. <laughs> More than that. And so think of it. Think of the HRT clinics. They would just love to have the liver king. They want him as a client. They're saying, yeah, you probably saved $60,000 a year. He's like, more than that. He ain't kidding. And so Liver King probably spends closer to $200,000 a year on performance enhancing drugs. Mind blowing. Imagine what the IFBB pros at the top are spending. It's unbelievable. Testosterone is $100 for three months. It's very cheap. Um, the peptides that I had taken, I tried all these peptides to try and increase my growth hormone. Not, none of that worked. And is it just me or is it not highly entertaining to listen to the Liver King talking about performance enhancing drugs? He knows more than 99% of the population. How much he spends on testosterone, HRT, growth hormone, peptides, and so he knows a lot. And remember, just a few days ago, he was 100% natural. Why would he know any of this? And so to me, this is highly entertaining, listening to Liver King talking, sounding like Derek from More Plates, More Dates. So how much do you actually spend? I'll tell you this, I mean, it, it's enough to buy a car every month. <laughs> That's how much it is. A car every month. Wonder what kind of car. Regardless, even if it's the cheapest car, enough to buy a car each and every month. And so for a guy who was 100% natural, he was quite literally spending more money on PDs than anyone I'd ever heard of in my life. Again, my, my goal is to save 100%. You yeah. know, like I'm, I'm getting off this. And so he's trying to save 100% to spend nothing, as in a zero. Not baby doses of HRT. He's quite literally trying to go 100% natural. And don't think he's going to do it. And nor do I think he should have to. Guy's 45. Why can't he use HRT? I watched two minutes of it. Yeah. Oh, holy. No, and, and so I didn't watch the rest of the video that day. Um, but what I did do is I called him. And so what happened when he was shown Derek's documentary on him? Well, he calls up Derek. Isn't that seem a little ridiculous? How did he have Derek's number to call him and talk to him on the phone? The guy had never read his emails. And so how did he have his number? 
If they'd never communicated, never talked before, how did he have his number on speed dial? Uh, and I slept like shit that night. <laughs> <laughs> I slept like shit that night. Next day, we talked to crisis management. You know, What does that mean? Some PR. And so he watches the video, has a horrible night of sleep, and then calls crisis management the PR team. You think Liver King just does all this on his own? Of course not. How are we going to handle this? Well, let's script out this apology and you can read it this way. He's like, I'm not reading that. Uh, no one believed that I would say that. And so he does his own apology. Frankly, I think he should have went with the scripted one. I think he should have listened to the PR team, probably said, yeah, you probably shouldn't use these shields protecting yourself, saying that, oh, it's because of the suicides over here and it's because you're a millionaire in the past and whatever. It didn't sound very good, now did it? And so then it just seemed like some bullshit legacy media apology. And I'm like, you think I'm going to say, anyone who knows me knows that I would never talk like that. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say the same thing that I said to my family. So apparently in his apology, he said the same thing he told his family. Well, family, there's 4,000 suicides a day, 80,000 attempts. And so that's why I did what I did. Did that really work? That's what he told his family? Not, hey everyone, I was taking steroids, I wanted to look amazing, I wanted to have this incredible body and make more money and one lie led to the another and it snowballed out of control and it was so stupid and I can't believe I did it and I'm embarrassed and ashamed. That not sound better? No, let's leave it on the fact I didn't want to tell the teenagers out there and because of suicide. And so let me know in the comment section, do you actually think the liver king is gonna go natural? Is he still lying to us all? Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, click the bell button, watch the two bloops. If you want to support me and the channel or get the books, now is the time. Use code FREEBOOK, you buy one book, get the next one free. The cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, buy one, get one free. Also, the supplements, use code GREG, 10% off. Click the link in description. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. And as usual, we have phone consults, cameos, coaching plans by me and my team. And until next time, I am out.